if you are new here, I'm Kanitia, and if you are already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch 12th episode of Anime to Your Eternity, so let's get to it, let's go. go. Alright. Four years is quite some time. So we're just reminded of what happened in the end of the previous episode. Pretty much. Okay, now I, I still remember it nicely and I have scrolled through the previous episode a little bit before watching this one. So unfortunately, I don't think I can say anything new during the opening. I already... Um, said all my predictions in the conclusion to the previous episode so we are just going to watch the opening and maybe find some clues in it because i think there was an interesting moment that i also discussed um that it might be this kind of fantasy of the future uh, if gugu does die it's going to show how his future could be because yeah you saw there was a moment where Gugu looked with a very unharmed face and he was holding Rin this was de were definitely them mm, so I'm curious to see how this goes I don't think we are ever going to see his face without a mask as an um, adult Gugu and even if he dies obviously when Imma replicates him it's going to be with the mask as well as we saw he's replicating all the clothes and everything yeah even see when in the op okay this is quite might be kind of spoiler i think when the creator is holding an orb in the opening it shows all the forms right and it does show little gugu as well okay back to that moment Oh, wow, it's chorus there. Holy shit. But we were told... <gasps> oh, gosh, thank God the dog is okay. <laughs> that they want kind of the opposite of what our creator wants. So to kind of... Destroy this world. Awakening. Okay. Let's see the awakening. Mm. That also explains, I guess, why. What is he holding on? Wasn't it all, like, tree-like? Why does it have a tongue? Ew. They did help him. That's sweet. I think this was even like her... No? Her fiance was so neutral looking. I was like, oh, he had something like brown hair, right? <laughs> Why? Ah, he can't even, like, ha carry her, for example, because he also can't walk. At least the dog is okay. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> wow, well, he, he is very strong. He didn't spend all this time, you know, building his muscles in vain. I think Imma should be alright because he does come back from all kind of injuries. So 
such a silent moment. Well, I, I guess it's kind of safe to go here now. Everything is already collapsed. Wait, he? His age? It resets? Hmm, okay. And it stole his bear form. But... I guess it's more stone-like than tree-like now. You need something different. Mm-hmm. And we were told they are going to get stronger. Oh, shit. <gasps> and see this um, tongues again. So maybe it's it's like flesh core, right? Using his agility form. Okay, that's nice. Is so Yeah, I guess you have to kind of break the stone somehow. Hmm. But there are, in between the stone parts, little uh, holes, I guess, when where you can find the weak side. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, but there is like a bigger core in s under the building itself. As I understood. Yeah, I see, and it's taking like the bear there. So it still has that form of the bear, I'd assume. That sounds too touchy. That's going to be something horrible happening in a second. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Ooh, I thought Gugu was going to be the one to be attacked. Wait, she is so strong, she just pushed him. Wow. <laughs> he must be very heavy. Oh, and she put the flower there. Oh. 
Can he recover from this kind of damage? He was completely squeezed. <gasps> there is music in the background. Very dramatic. Yeah, same. See, he has uh, much more, like, feelings now. Isn't my pain? Hmm. Wait, that was a peculiar phrase. Because when he started fighting, he was much less affected. Oh, there were more rubble falling. Yeah, but they also have to get out of there, because if he's crushed and he falls on her, he's going to crush her. So they still need some kind of, like, escape for her, for example, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, usually when when in the anime they do promises like that, nobody survives after that. <laughs> yeah, and she's in her mind is probably already thinking we are not getting out of this situation. Judging by her expression. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this all the blood from pressure? From... Oh shit. Oh, and he opened his face for them to get oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. And in the moments like this, don't you wish they would have a normal life and could be like happy together, right? <sighs> Fuck. This seems is a pretty horrible situation so i wonder where like the oh he did get the form already even not being near google was like google right close enough usually he was march though no i think he was pretty close to the dead person to get the form usually right <laughs> so that means rin is probably also dead because he would fall and collapse after dying, inevitably. <laughs> I 
Well, I expected Google to die, but gosh, this moment was so sad. <sighs> so maybe Imma with Google's abilities will be strong enough to... What happened? The water here is hot? Or his attacks took effect? Well, it's not a hot spring. I guess all of his attacks took effect after all. Oh, I missed something and I will have to maybe rewatch this part later. That's the core and it's running away now and it has all of his still his bear form, I think, right? Or not? Did he do it? Yeah, it, it is. Only his bear form, I think. <laughs> well, it, it would be pretty cool if they f found, like, Gugu still standing in some position, you know? Like, yeah, a bear. Like the story about the samurai. See, she seems fine. The samurai that was dead but was still standing with all the arrows in him. Oh, that's his older brother. I wonder if he thinks now if he did some like different choices in his past, then his brother, his little brother would survive. I don't know. <laughs> Is this like a dream sequence? <laughs> yeah, like with March. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't I place tissues closer to it? <laughs> oh, that's his old, old mask. His brother did have some like personal development, right? Is he going to put so much on his grave? Yes, she she survived. That's a miracle. Wait, and she maybe she still hopes that he is alive. She didn't get the news. And he can talk to his spirit?
Yeah, because you're so selfless. <laughs> oh, March. So they are like all in the spirit world now. Why? What does he want to say? That he survived but he is leaving? So she thinks that he is alive? So she would be happy? That's a bit crazy. And... Mm. I wonder, wouldn't it be better for her to think, to, to know that Gugu is actually dead? Otherwise he leaves and she will just hope that he returns. But yeah, I think he's, he, he was trying to kind of spare her feelings on Gugu. Oh shit. <laughs> Think of something better. Um, yeah, I don't know. But then she's just going to wait there forever. Yeah, he is obviously like living, living right now. So, did he successfully deceive her? Did she see him change form? I don't think she did. Like, let's see what she says. No, I think sh she... Mm. Mm, I think she realized what happened. Okay, oh shit, there's no like ending this right away. Okay, wait a second. So yeah, probably because she was there, we only saw like the mo my last moment we saw of them were them kissing. And I assumed like if Gugu is going to die, 
naturally he is holding his body himself uh, with his intention to do so so once he's dead he is probably going to collapse uh, but i guess uh, they found them just in the nick of the moment or as i said as that story with the samurai that was found still standing while dead with a lot of arrows in him maybe google Whoop kept his position protecting Rin for a little bit um, but she was there when uh, also Imma got the form so she probably saw and realized that Gugu was dying uh, and she probably expected to die there herself judging by their interaction and everything so maybe after she survived and uh, she didn't see him anywhere she had this little bit of hope that okay maybe gugu also has survived maybe i can still like, find him talk to him but when she got there imma decided that he will try to spare her feelings and show her gugu and pretend that gugu is still alive and it will make it easier for her somehow because it, it also shows how um, understanding i think of human feelings has developed for him in my opinion it would be better for her to know that he is dead and move on from it instead of her thinking that he is alive and he left somewhere and she'll be like waiting for him or wondering why he left after saying he loves her but at the same time it seems like she did realize that it was Imma pretending to be Gugu because um, I, I don't, I guess, remember the previous episodes enough, uh, well enough, because it was, I think, like in September that I watched the beginning of their arc. Maybe I should have rewatched it more carefully because I don't really remember how well Rin knows Imma's abilities, especially since he stayed in the same form for four years. But judging by what she said there, she does know. She said that Gugu is with him, and uh, as well, she probably recognized that it is not Gugu's voice. And Imma intentionally didn't say much because you can hear like the voice is different and uh, he tried his best to imitate Gugu and she probably decided to go along with it so she would have I'm sorry, like another moment as if with Gugu and say some kind of final goodbyes and promises and when she went there to the flowers she already knew that he isn't going to come but all these experiences has made her stronger in her personality and more decisive and uh, maybe in the future she will find someone else she will fall in love with maybe she's just going to stay by herself in any case right now she is able to confidently defy her parents decision and say she doesn't want to get married to this dude uh, at least right now she is in love with Gugu she knows that he is gone and uh, of course with time she's still very young it might change I mean of course she would still hold fond memories of Gugu but the pain will subside a little bit and there would be a chance to maybe uh, fall in love again but ev even in this case i'm sure she will always remember him and uh, so this is a very this is mostly mostly sad i want to say had a bittersweet moment but it's mostly bitter i mean sad and that's i guess it on this situation uh, we have a bear form stealer to pursue now so i think that yeah that's the only form uh, that got stolen from us and especially since uh, there's no google here left and we got his form there's no reason for us to stay here and the last point that i wanted to make is that it seems that when he must stays in one form in that form he does age in that form as we saw in this four years right but as soon as he took another form and got back to his boy form, he was again 
the initial version of that. So it seems to be working that way. And I think that's mainly all that I wanted to say. I just, the, the most of the episode was just sad and crying and I did uh, expect Google to die. Uh, so there's, it wasn't like shocking or a twist, uh, but it was still very, uh, yeah, I guess. Is there a word stronger than sad? I'm not sure. Yeah, but that would probably be it for this episode i think this is the end of google arc so next episode we are starting a new arc we are saying goodbye to google to rin to boozman and to granny to everyone and moving on to the next adventures and we did see also in the opening some other characters that we didn't meet before so maybe We'll meet some of them, but yeah, that would be it for today, so share your thoughts in the comments down below without spoilers, of course. Thank you for watching, and see ya!